So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like to use splice quite a lot to take samples and bring those into my music. Now, a new thing that seems to have come out on splice, I've just noticed it, is AI powered splice. It says AI powered splices here, and I have had a very, very brief play with it, but I wanted to really show you guys the power of this thing because um, it can actually work. It's not really AI. I'm going to explain to you what I think it is. <laughs> But um, it can actually give you some really excellent ideas and get you started on your music creation journey. So this is the um, application for Splice. And as you can see here, the first thing you see is create a stack. It says experience inspiration on tap with our new create a stack feature. Start by picking a style and then let Splice AI comb the entire catalog to show one of a kind musical combinations that nobody has heard before. <laughs> anyway, so let's create a stack straight away. You've got that big blue stack button and we will have a look how it looks. You can see here it's trying to force my website open because it's not working on the application. You need to actually use the website to get this thing to work. And it says here song ideas will start here. Splice AA will show you millions of musical combinations that no one's ever heard before. <laughs> anyway, and it features sounds made by, what? Well, okay, it's world top producers. It's Splice, anyone on Splice, basically. So you have all of these genre styles. You can make um, all of these different styles, you know. So I, um, yeah, I think what this is, is it's just uh allowing you to pick samples within a genre that might go well together so let's start with dance pop so i'm just going to click on that and see what we get so straight away you get a bunch of samples and it plays them for you and let me just stop that the way it works is if you uh, it plays them together but if you don't like any of the samples like i don't like the vocal you can just refresh and it will just pick another vocal for you. I said also didn't like the synth. So refresh that and let's just hear how that sounds. Now let's take the vocals out. And we can actually solo the sound the sound to hear how it sounds. Or we can mute the sound so we can hear it sounds like without the uh, thing. I mean, these three combined don't sound too bad together. Okay, so say you like that combination. What you can do now is click on save. And it automatically gives you uh, a name, Sparkle Like Party. If you uh, refresh this, it will give you just other names. So we'll call this, the, you just give it, the, you can call it whatever you want, but just take the name that they give it. And it says Expressive Haze says your stack is saved you can find it in your library so if you go back to the application which is this one there's a little stacks button here and i actually created one before called average strawberry but this one is one called expressive haze now if we just um well we can just play it first so that's the idea and then you can actually view the samples that made that idea up so you can see all the different samples there. Now, if you like them all, I think you can, um, sorry, there it is. You can press one credit and just purchase them for a credit each. And then we can make this screen a bit smaller and then we're gonna open Ableton here. And they'll appear in your sample packs on the left-hand side, but um, you can also just drag them in from the applications. I'm going to do that quickly now. So if you go into the app here, um, we want to match the BPM. So the BPM for that was 122. So we just bring that up to 122. So it was a bit loud. So just, we'll just reduce the volume a bit. Okay. 
Okay, and let's just listen to them in isolation. And that's only three of the samples. There were five. I just didn't want to download them all. So um, actually, for the purposes of inspiration, it's a really good tool. I don't think it's artificial intelligence. And the reason I say that is I think what's happening here is it is matching drum, bass, and synth, and vocal samples, and uh, lead, and other samples by BPM. It's just literally... Uh, BPM matching them. So even if this one's in 120, it's still going to raise this one to 122. And it's also matching them by um, uh, by uh, no, uh, by scale. Uh, so uh, I don't know what scales these are, these are, uh, but this it sounds like, it looks like it's a G major. So it's just basically taking everything in G major or G, well, this one's in G minor, and putting them together in this and matching them by BPM. So matching what you would expect in a song, which are drums, bass, vocal, synths, and it's matching them, but um, it's just putting them together. And it's so it's what it is, is randomization rather than artificial intelligence. And maybe that's what artificial intelligence is, randomization. So before I go, there was another thing I really wanted to create. Let's just go back a couple of steps here. Let's create a new stack. I wanted to create one disco one um, because I think I actually tried this before and I think it sounds really good because disco is a much more easier, more obvious one to make because it's a very straightforward mix of drum, bass, and guitar. So let's click on Disco Fever. Now it doesn't always work, so we're just going to create a new stack, completely new stack. Usually the chords don't work, so we're going to mute them. We'll change the bass. New stack. <laughs> Another one. Another one. And because a lot of these don't really go well together, because they just don't fit, they sound, sometimes they can sound a bit ambient. But this one doesn't sound too bad. Let's create another stack. You can have a lot of fun with this. Let's create another stack. Yeah, so every now and then you can get something that like this that kind of sounds good. I don't like the drums, so we'll just change the drums. So it started the disco fever, but it's turned into synth wave. <laughs> so, you know, as you can tell there, this is a real, real important, I think, application. Uh, and I think it's just going to get better. I think Splice is getting better all the time. And I just like the, the, this is not artificial intelligence, but I like the fact that it is giving you different creativity options. So that's it for me. What do you guys think of this? Is this the future? Is this the start of something big? Let me know what you think. See ya.